Guys, this is easily one of the more important games of the playoffs for us, obviously. We're sitting at 2-2, two and two, so the series is tied right now, and we're at home. We're at home. We need this victory. It's not even a joke at this point. We lose this game. We could easily lose this series because ne the next game is going to be in Memphis. So, essentially, we need this win. There's no discussion about it. Um, Got to play hard. Hopefully, DeMarcus Cousins does some decent production in this game because he's been for the series he hasn't been doing too much I gotta be honest uh, we haven't been seeing too much of DeMarcus Cousins he's been averaging maybe 13 13 points per game and when you have DeMarcus Cousins on your team you expect like 30 points per game from him but um, the game starts off with the Memphis Grizzlies missing DeMarcus Cousins gets his first bucket pretty quickly early on off a of fast break easily could have dunked that basketball but I guess he decided to show off his floater game Zach Randolph gets me right back on that play um, first quarter was tight they kept running this double screen from Mike Conley Jr. he would he would come off of it he would knock that mid-range jump shot down pretty often um, oh yeah by the way this is post patch um, so they actually released another patch so they've done two patches for this game. This is after the second patch. So this is after two updates in case you guys are wondering what's going on. Look at that. Look at that layup real quick. Look at that and one. Look at that and one opportunity. Definitely should have been an and one. Did not get the and one. So, um, yeah, this is after the second patch. So we're playing with the freshest NBA Live gameplay that we can get right now. The Marcus Cousins tough layup. That's a new animation that they added, by the way. That one-handed little floater move. When he gets fouled, that's a pretty sick animation. By the way, I forgot to mention, you guys might have been seeing ads lately in the videos when you first play them, um, when you first click on them. That's because I ended up signing a contract with Curse Network, so I'm currently partnered with Curse Network, um, which is obviously a big step in the YouTube career for me, uh, hoping that thing, good things could come out of this partnership. Um, so yeah, that's why you guys have been seeing ads in the videos, and you'll continue to see ads. Maybe I can possibly turn this YouTube thing into something greater than it is right now, which is awesome because I actually just broke 400 subscribers. I forgot to say thank you guys for that, 400 subscribers. So we're looking good, man. The, con the channel continues to grow pretty quickly, which is pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Thanks for the support, guys. But honestly, we got more important things to talk about right now, and we're talking about this dunk. That's a huge dunk early on. That's a momentum changer right there. It's a five-point game. Mike Conley, he's looking for a bucket right here. He steps back, but he's going to miss. I grab the offensive rebound. And look who's off and running on the fast break. DeMarcus Cousins, the big man. The big man is getting down on the court right now. And we got ourselves, we built ourselves a seven-point lead. And one more three-pointer is perfect. Why not? No D. I'm getting all three of those points. Well, let's jump into the second quarter. We got ourselves a 10-point lead. But Vince Carter, who randomly had a really big effect in this game. Here he is one more time. He got five straight points right there, finishing the layup on the fast break. Seven-point game once again. But this is a really nice play from the computer. Um, they find Marcus Gasol for the two-handed dunk right there. So I am going to get subbed out. And I'm going to come back in in the third quarter. And look at the score real quick. We're down by 11 points. So I come back in and we're trailing. And I'm trying so hard to bring us back in this game. We cannot lose this game. We lose this game. We essentially lose the series. So they get off and running on a fast break after a miss on our end. And they got a double digit lead once again. They get these easy buckets on the inside. Mike Conley Jr. He's just been in the paint literally for the whole game. He's just been floating around inside and knocking down jump shots left and right. Courtney Lee right there. Um, 13 point game. Third quarter. Three minutes to go. Obviously we still have some time to come back. And I get a good screen from Kufis right there. The three pointer is cash. Still though I was really nervous playing this game because it's still a 10 point game playing some good defense right there and we need to get this lead down to at least single digits maybe down to five points before the fourth quarter if we really want a chance to win this game i knocked down another two pointer right there unfortunately that was not a three pointer uh, but we do come up with a defensive steal right here we're running on a fast break one more time we almost turned it over this play is just so crazy um but collison ends up getting it to me and i end up finishing that layup nicely it's a five point game once again i got 31 points for the game james anderson the two pointer he's gonna miss it kufis he's on the offensive rebound he goes back up with their three point game 30 seconds to go just like that fourth quarter we gotta jump into this gameplay it's a close game 
We got to back down to three points. Fourth quarter just started, and we need to get our defense right, which obviously Brandon Wright makes he exposes us easily on that play, gets a dunk to go. And I'm looking to post up here. They finally get me the ball. It took a while, and I'm about to work my post game. Tough layup. Could have been an end one because I, I definitely – Definitely saw some contact on that one. 63 uh, to 60 right here. And they get another offensive rebound. Killing us on the offensive glass as usual. Honestly, I complain about that all the time. Um, but nothing's happening. We just continue to get destroyed on the offensive glass. I miss this three, but Demarcus Cousins. His first bucket since the first quarter, guys. He hasn't scored since. This is what I mean. That we need more out of DeMarcus Cousins, so 65, 62. I'm running on a fast break. I'm trying to find the open man, Marco Bellinelli. He's going to get hit. He's going to get hit on that play. He's going to go to the line, and he would end up knocking down both free throws. So it's a one-point game just like that. Vince Carter comes off the curl screen, and he knocks it down. The three-pointer is good. Four-point game. I don't know how Vince Carter ended up having such a huge effect on this game, but it kills me. Um, Bellinelli finds me for the floater in the lane. Two-point game. Once again, and this is the play that's going to change the momentum. Rudy Gay, one-on-one -on -one against Vince Carter. This is a crucial play. They got the isolation going. Rudy Gay forces a tough jump shot. He's going to miss. We grab the offensive rebound. Look at Rudy Gay. He's off and running on the fast break. It's a tie game. We tied it back up. This is what playoffs are all about. This is the type of comeback. And we get a steal. We get another steal on that play. It's a tie game. Once again, we're running on the fast break. Looking to take the lead for the first time since the second quarter. Uh, it took a while to get to this point. But finally, we make it happen. I'm going to go to Derek, Derek Collison right here. He gets the screen off of DeMarcus Cousins. We swing it out to Rudy Gay. Three-pointer. He misses. I'm on the offensive rebound. We get a second chance bucket right here. Derek Collison gets it back to me. I go to DeMarcus Cousins. Cousins looking to give us the lead. He's going to miss. Give me the offensive rebound. I'll take care of this bucket. We get the lead back. I got 35 points. Another defensive stop. We get a steal once again. They're just turning the ball over, being careless with the ball. And we're on an 8-0 run. Looking beautiful. Look at that dunk. That beautiful animation right there to give us a 4-point lead. But... Take a second to look at the top right corner of your screen. I am on the bench. I'm on the bench. I have no idea why I'm on the bench. I don't know why the game would sub me out. But if they subbed me out to put in Kufis. Again, I have no idea why. We end up winning the game, thankfully. But honestly, they, they subbing me out pretty much killed it for me because I really want to be in the game. Uh, at the end of it, especially at that crucial point. I don't know why they would take me out. It's kind of annoying to see that. Uh, you don't really see that in 2K. But yeah, that's going to be it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.